Uh, well, the entire piece is separated by sections. Um, each section is inspired by where I find myself. And the title of the entire piece is The Wagons Ain't Here Yet. America. What is a death when the life is taken by pieces? Like bricks in the stockyard instead of exploding. Like the lotto where the final jackpot is becoming a puddle of gristle and brains to weep over and pass laws over, and elect demagogues over, and forget how wealth is always manifested by suffering and humiliation, and you smile as if you are not complicit in this terrifying world of unrelenting misery, but you have enough moral indignation to say that the system is broken, so why not burn it all down to the sewage drains where the black shit water of nationalism saturates the air and your teeth are white like the men whose cocks throb with every dog whistle calling the wolves from their caves and their reptile calm is smeared across the red lips of black porcelain dolls they cradle in their arms as they draft legislation in ink that will birth their wet American nightmares oh. Kansas City, Missouri. Snakes inch out of the rocks. Bodies tied together as cold melts away and summer begins. Veins and muscles, strands locked to cocaine and earth. The June wind hot with steam and dung. The sound of Spanish spoken between women on a train crawling towards Kansas City. Old man stiff standing up. There is a reason why cults believe Missouri was paradise. Bull of queer cum bait, golden hay, faggot sneak behind the green hills to fuck in the holler. Oh. Bullfrog sing in the brown creeks. Our governor resigned this week because his mistress got tired of being sexually assaulted. Oh, wow. A transsexual woman snorts coke and kisses horny men in bar bathroom, single stall. Cock whores rolling on acid. She teases tranny chasers with hard dicks, plays with her tits in their cars. Do you remember walking through algae in the river with grandma and grandpa? Do you smell the rot of leeches when you cut lines? Trannies cackling to coke mirrors, passing around plates of fish scale grams, pastel crushed pills, carnation pink thongs, swollen nipples bruised from their tricks callous fingers, plumbers, carpenters, contractors, politicians, drug dealers, bouncers, accountants, janitors, gay hustlers, cabbies, tweakers. Nuclear war will feel like this kind of love, all agony and ecstasy. How cliche. Transsexual and addicted, women surrounded by gods, ancient and powerful. The kind of spirits who can summon an apocalypse for brunch, level entire civilizations with their tits. T for T, fem orgies, where girls fuck like moon witches. Cunts licked by giant lunar moths, speckled with ganja dust. Labias tickled by fan antennae. And assholes probed by 12 inch long proboscis. If I detransition, I'd still be fucking all your dads. Yes. Some zaddies live forever, and some trannies would rather kill than be killed. Yes. He was going to murder me, she says. He was shot to the back of the head by a man he pissed off in a bar parking lot, his body on a slab as police asked his transsexual girlfriend, will she come downtown to ID the body? But no, this is all a sick, horrible joke, she says to herself. He will arrive in the morning hungover and heartbroken and says he will never drink or hit or choke or stalk or lie to her again. He will love her this time. He promised her he will kill her to make her stronger. 
The new American psychedelic odyssey will be surviving the white nationalist coup. The wagons ain't here yet, but the internment camps have fresh pressed flags. Flesh dirties the eyes as hollow brown eyes stare into glass glasses of powdered orange juice. Tastes metallic. Feels like a brand new genocide. This time a ratings bonanza. Republicans in cowboy hats grinning for the cameras as they deliver their demands for mass relocation. Leaked Army Corps of Civil Engineer blueprints chart the walls, expansion beyond southern border and into the states. Opposition lawyers and activists believe these are their charts for a terrifying new world. Chicago, Illinois. Each day the nightmare screams louder and louder. She stares into the sky, glassy-eyed and rolling on ecstasy. Jet lights crawl across the Chicago skyline. Her boyfriend calls her and tells her that flights across the country are grounded after Hartsfield Jackson International loses power in Atlanta. A sense of dread punches her in the heart. More psychological mindfuck experiments. More future collapse of the electric, electric grid scenarios. More climate-induced calamities across the world. More refugees. More racist FBI agents. More mass shootings in black churches, strip malls, <laughs> casinos, payday loan shops, country clubs. A cabbie parked across the street outside the corner bar waves at her, flicks his tongue and grins. Every driver she has encountered in Chicago has been an enthusiastic tranny chaser. They ask her where they can find beautiful transvestites in town, if she wore thigh highs or stockings, if she liked her dick sucked on. Every single one feigning amazement at how passable she seemed, as if they had never fucked a dude in a wig. Fish and heel stands in psych littered and drunk shoulders, bare and Santa baby cunt, white pup, puff and red velour, broken Korean English, singing over a karaoke Christmas carol, smiling in thin heat and white kitten heels, the crowd bowing with snaps and dollar bills. When asked at the bar what she's feeling, she tells the faggots that whatever lies ahead is dark. A fucked up premonition soaked in blood, the nightmare regime slithering toward them to reinforce their god, their white hoods, their dicks. America is a rotting whale stuck to your fucking back like a leech that won't stop sucking off. Transsexual amphibians, godless black and fly brain, oil wars, galaxies outside her, knives to white knights and reptiles. Disco net hairspray, vials of the infected, the tranny daughters of Eve, the tranny coke sluts of Chicago. Let's jerk off to T-girl abuse porn. Let's suck off a stranger's cock on Christmas Eve. Blue hair hangs frozen outside a South Chicago Queen Club. More coke and ganja and men who want to feel her tits and vogue old way in black fuck me pumps in a basement house party. The cocaine sluts, the ones you know but never trust, the ones you whisper to on online chats. Text from the depths of shame, asking for dick pics and cum shots but never love. The bitches you need to rub your back and call you daddy. The ladies at lunch by eating your ass until the sun rises and nothing is left but the crumbs of drugs and the carpet hairs, twirled and wiry like pubes soaked with tobacco juice and poppers. And the lights, neon, disco bonfires, sugar stone gaping lips. The nation feels more and more like a prison every day as our Antichrist president demands we all become white, all cunt and porcelain. The government continues to erode basic human decency from every branch, writing deportation propaganda, sucking off ICE agents with Guatemalan tranny prisoners dying of AIDS, calling Haitian shit people, jerking off white supremacists on live television, calling immigrants animals, tweeting Jesus.
Meanwhile, the vice president silently grins as he ghostwrites legal strategies for establishing a genocidal theocracy. Jeff Sessions is two brain cells away from a Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard. John Kelly will be sacrificed in a targeted assassination to build their pretext. We are in a portal straight to hell. People are portals, wormholes into new dimensions of being, imaginations, liberations. They bring you into themselves, pulling you away from the rot and the muck of the world inside where you are never good enough and it all seems worthless. These portals whisper prophecies from prison pulpits, Southside strolls sucking straws from styrofoam cups looking for daddy's pickup truck, pool halls smoking new ports with gin drunk women, black stages calling down poems and elixirs from transsexual ancestors, summoning tranny slut ghosts into black magic cauldrons, a portal into a transsexual cocktail waitress tending bar and serving overpriced fruit and veg to white vegan neo hipsters writing her life down in digital reflection pools of porn and pop cultural nihilism. She says trannies make the best therapists since we embody the most famous tragic femme archetypes, all full of tit and lip. She says pussies are portals, are rainbows, are prisons, the ultimate transsexual hack. With a pussy, she could bypass the awkwardness from TSA agents eyeing her brow line, her chin, her shoulders, her ID, which still says her, which still says she's male, a stamp of a name she barely he hears anymore, set from mom and daddy and bill collectors. While on her flight out of Chicago, gray and snow brushed, she reads an obituary on her phone for the 27th trans woman murdered this year in America. Irony tastes bitter. She writes a poem. She knows the poem is not policy. It won't resurrect her dead sisters, won't bring her hope that justice exists for trans women. She writes it anyways. When they say nationalism is a virtue, when they say prisons are portals, when the poems start to disappear, tell them about Donald Trump and Charlottesville, and AIDS, and the drugs, and the discos. Thank you.